five because of people walking up and down the stairs. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Jack Rinker with the band Silver Cipher. Uh, I thought I'd take the time today to go over drum maintenance, specifically how I go about uh, taking care of my drums, cleaning them, and whatnot. Uh, we're actually going back into the studio here in about a month or two. And as such, I'm actually going to be videotaping a lot of, uh, of, of my sessions in the studio. And I really want to make sure that my drums look nice and pretty. Uh, I don't want a dirty drum set, you know. So I'm actually, I've been spending the past couple days cleaning them. So I'm going to go over that uh, a little bit. But I thought I'd take this very second to go over perhaps one of the most important details uh, in maintaining your drums. And that is actually the importance of actually owning drum cases. Uh, we just had a show the other day, and out of the four bands there, I was the only one with drum cases. And I see that a lot of shows. I see a lot of drummers who just chuck their drums in the back seat of the car, or like in the back of a truck, and they just, you know, scream, you know, they just pull them out, and then they just toss them on the ground, leave them lay around. And um, I'm really kind of bewildered by that. I'm surprised that more drummers don't have cases. Um, it's not like you see a lot of guitar players without cases. Almost every guitarist has a case for their guitar. I mean, it's your baby. It's your instrument. You have a lot of pride in it, so you ought to take care of it. You don't want to just be tossing it around. Um, my very first drum kit I had when I was younger, that's what I did. I just tossed it around through in the back seat. This is actually um, the snare from that kit. Um, I kept it as a backup snare. and. I don't have a case for it. As you can see, this is actually, um, there's a snare in here with a case. But this one, you know, is my backup snare, so I just kind of lug this one around. But it's got a lot of dents on it. It's got a lot of scratches. It's starting to get kind of rusted. So, you know, with my actual drum kit, you know, my actual baby, I really want to make sure that that stays as nice as possible. So, I definitely wanted to make sure that I had cases with it. Uh, luckily, it actually came with the kit. So I looked out on, on that, but, you know, as far as buying cases, you know, I mean, $100, $200, perhaps, um, but it's definitely something that if you are a drummer that you should definitely try to invest in. I mean, I cannot stress the importance of trying to keep your equipment nice. You don't want it to get, you know, wear and tear. And actually, um, for this specific drum here, uh, we had a show about a year ago where a distraught individual who was uh, very angry, not with me, uh, actually kicked my drum when I walked by. And had it not been for the case, had it not been for the uh, interior padding, that drum probably would have been you know, damaged quite a bit, but luckily uh, no damage resulted from that. So if you are a drummer, and if you haven't already, definitely try to invest in, in some drum cases. Try to keep your instrument nice. You know, it, it is your instrument. It is your pride. It is your baby. All right. All right, we're back. So uh, now I'd like to take uh, uh, this time to actually go over uh, cleaning the drums, how I clean the drums. And I'm going to swing the camera around here. And hopefully it's not too shaky. All right, and here we are. Um, this is my... Uh, my high tom here. Um, I've already removed the bottom drum head which is sitting over there and as you can see right here look at that. Look at that. It's disgusting. And that is just some dust on the bottom head so I, I you know I hate to see what's in the top head. Um, but you know this is something that you know, I try to take care of every once in a while. Um, honestly, it's it's been quite a while since I've cleaned my drums. That's quite a bit of dust build up. It's probably been about a year, um, sad to say. But even in a year, you can see all the build up. Look at that. Look at all that build up. And if you're a drummer who, you know, has yet to actually clean your drum set or you haven't done it in quite a while, um, you know, hopefully this will kind of uh, entice you to do so. Um, I'm going to flip the drum over here, show the top head, which I have yet to take off, but I already went ahead and unscrewed it, just get it away, let's see what kind of 
Let's see what kind of gunk we have in here. In case you're wondering, hey, I didn't see him use a drum key, it's because I, you know, I did it beforehand. But I just thought that the dust on the bottom half was just such good quality that I didn't want to take it off just yet. All right. So I'm taking the rim off here. Let's just look at the drum head itself. And hopefully, there we go, get that in there. As you can see, there's all these little, just bits of uh, broken drumstick, little, you know, kind of like dust, wood chips, whatnot. And that's gonna be around the entire drum head. After the drum itself, this side, top side doesn't look too bad. Not really seeing any dust, but, as such, my drums are definitely in need of a cleaning, so I'm going to actually go through that here in a second on cleaning them. And like I said, if you are a drummer and if it's been a while since you've actually cleaned your drums, you know, please take a, a day to do so or a weekend when you're not doing anything, you know. You know, take some time to actually take care of your, uh, of your instrument. Okay. All right, we're back. Uh, I thought I'd go uh, a little more in detail about um, actually cleaning the drum itself. Um, I know that most music stores carry all kinds of cleaner uh, um, for percussion instruments, um, but I personally just find that regular household cleaners work. Um, if you're like me and if you have a, a, a wood kit, um, just furniture polish. You know, I think that works. And as far as the heads go, if you want to clean your heads, um, you know, you can just you know try Windex stuff like that. Um, when I do clean though, as you can see there's like a little spot right here. I'm gonna really try to get that um, in case you're wondering what all this is. That's actually the furniture polish. And some spots there. I'm gonna try and get that. But when I do clean, one of the things I do is I actually try to get along these edges right here, try to get in there. Sometimes I find some dust build up and it kind of leaves black streaks when I clean. And another thing I do is I actually, while I'm cleaning, you know, I test to make sure that all the hardware aspects work, you know. Does that seem kind of, you know, springy? Yeah, you know, make sure on the inside that, you know, uh, just kind of go over all the screws, make sure none of them are loose. I don't want anything ringing or possibly falling off and I don't know about it. And go into recording, and you hear this little ringing of metal sound, you know, stuff like that. So, when you're cleaning your drums, it's just always a good idea to kind of, you know, run your fingers over, you know, a bit of the hardware aspects and make sure everything, nothing's loose or anything like that. And I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to go ahead and clean this one.